Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2017 Toyota Hi-Ace commuter bus in a petrol. So a little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota Lexus of Cairns. I am standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards where we have about 200 vehicles in stock and go through about 160 on any given month. As you can see, we do have quite a variety of vehicles here at Pacific Toyota, one of the largest pre-owned departments in Queensland. Across the road here though, you'd have parts and services directly attached to the back of our brand new part of the dealership for Toyota and Lexus. And just up the road along Mulgrave Road there as you head towards the city, you will come across our second pre-owned vehicle yard. Um, at the end of the day, about 40% of the stock held down there and about 60% held up here, but all under the one big banner of Pacific Toyota. Throughout the video though, I'll be going over the commuter bus here in complete detail, just simply pointing out any blemishes or imperfections that people look for at first point of sale. So what I'll do is start down around the front here. So as we can see on the wheels, we've got excellent amount of depth in the tire treads there. So plenty of wear and tear still left on them. Nice and clean underneath the arches. And there's obviously a couple of scratches just on the hubcaps here uh, to be expected at the end of the day. Uh, but as we go, we'll also be covering each uh, panel on the vehicle. Dents, uh, scratches, stone chips, those sorts of imperfections. So down around the front, nice and clean and tidy and straight around the front end here. So this here is all just plastic. Uh, on the silver though, got a couple little imperfections which are to be expected on a pre-owned vehicle. That there looks like just a little bit of cleaning product so that will come off when it gets its final clean. But overall, nice and straight and tidy. No major dings or dents. Uh, and same as we go around the actual uh, bonnet part here as well. Just one little minor imperfection there, little stone chips. So those type of little things can be brush touched before delivery of the vehicle. But overall, we can see it's nice and straight and tidy around the front end. So we make our way down the passenger side though, just try to give a really good angle of the body and the light, making sure there's no major dings or dents. Uh, but we'll keep covering each panel as we go. Beautiful, so on the side mirror. Light little marking. Uh, hasn't done any actual damage to the mirror though. Hasn't actually taken any chunks out of the plastic either. So. And as we make our way down the body, so there's a couple of light little scratches uh, around the, I guess the petrol area here. Uh, probably from the, the hose and that knocking and obviously quite frequently used uh, the side door. But as we can see, they are very minor and they're the type of things we'd like to touch up before the vehicle leaves our possession. Uh, I guess just having that quality of vehicle leave the yard. But as we can see down the body, nice and straight and tidy as a whole. Uh, no major dings or dents. So on the front left, plenty of tire tread. Good to see the consistency all the way around. And while we're over this side, we'll open them up and have a bit of a look inside for you. Beautiful. So you do have these extra uh, rails fitted in here already, uh, not necessarily in every vehicle. And as we have a look through, so we'll go over the seats, the flooring, the roofing, the whole lot. So probably the most common area to get wear and tears as soon as you enter in the door here on the flooring. Uh, it's actually still in really good condition though. So that's always an excellent sign um, that the flooring hasn't had too much wear or tear or damage. And we wanna make sure it's the same throughout the whole vehicle, so. Covering each seat, a little stain mark down on that one. Maybe able to give it a wet vac and see if anything comes out. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's more looking for the bigger damages, cuts, tears, burns, those type of imperfections. Beautiful. So as we can see, this one here, it is actually uh, still set up as a 14-seater. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm not 100% sure on how we go about selling those as we normally do them as a 12-seater. Uh, at the end of the day, that way anyone with a normal license can obviously drive them. Um, but that's obviously a discussion we can have moving forward if we're happy with the condition that we're looking at right now. Before throughout the roof, all your vents, no damages, tears, not starting to sag or anything. It closes nice and easily. Uh, the back left wheel, same amount of tread again. Little tabs on there, basically brand new tyres as we're going around, so plenty of wear and tear left. Uh, around the back end, though, obviously, we want to make sure that there is no major dents or damages, so make sure she's nice and straight and tidy along the back end here as well. Beautiful. So, you do have your built in reversing camera there that we'll see in action shortly. 
Uh, but as we can see back here, there's no real markings of imperfections. One little tiny one here in the door. Uh, that's literally about it. So beautiful. We'll also open it up while we're here. Beautiful. So as we can see back here, behind the seats, nice and tidy. Uh, you do have the uh, fire extinguisher down underneath at the back here as well. And just looking forward at the back of all the seats. Also in excellent condition. So. Beautiful. Last but not least, we'll make our way down the driver's side. Again, trying to give you a really good angle, but we'll keep covering the panel as we go. Final wheel. Good to see that consistency all around with excellent amount of tyre tread or a brand new tyre. Obviously part of our roadworthy certificate attached to all vehicles, uh, which is also inclusive in that driveway price at the end of the day that's advertised. As we can see around, nice and clean and tidy, nice straight body. Uh, across the windscreen, making sure there's no major chips or cracks or damages on the windscreen itself. Again, obviously a roadworthy item. And last but not least, we'll jump in uh, the front end. Still checking the condition, but also we'll turn her over and have a look at the layout and some of the features as well. Beautiful, so actually full set of keys, two remotes, one is sort of a third emergency spare. Start her up nicely, so you do have your electric windows and locking there on the right. Uh, you've got your cruise control set up there, and on the left hand side all of your controls for obviously the head unit. Uh, and as we can see it's on 105,655 kilometres. Layout, traction control, air conditioning vents. Uh, nice big display screen, so all touch screen uh, at the end of the day. Uh, you've also got buttons on the side, but you've also got built in GPS if need be. Um, and obviously, all your connections like your USB, Bluetooth, audio, those types of things. Down below here, all your controls for your air conditioning, uh, also for the rear vents uh, that we saw up on the roof there before. And I was in an automatic with your park brake just there. But up front, like the rest of the vehicle, very clean and tidy, excellent condition. No major scratches, damages, or imperfections. Across the dash, uh, not starting to fade or crack or anything like that or go sticky. Look in here, so the glove at the book service book. Obviously, that's the main one people want to know about. A little bit tricky with one hand from the beginning, so we've got 10,000, 20, 30. 40, uh, 57, 72, 88, 99, 105, last done by us here. Uh, so next one not due till 115,600. Beautiful, but that there was our virtual tour of our 2017 Toyota Hi-Ace commuter in a petrol version. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is our only petrol in stock, so it will not last long, so I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.